There's Jordan. So yesterday, Jordan was dying to go skating at the skate park. We only had 15 minutes for him to skate. So he's at the skate park. I'm sitting in the truck with Olivia watching. And all of a sudden, I see this crowd of skaters all come around really quickly, all around in a circle. I'm like, oh, this isn't good. There's a bunch of kids out there that look like Jordan. Same height, same little white helmet. <clears throat> I go running out there thinking, I hope it's not Jordan. I hope it's not Jordan. I get there and laying in the concrete with all the kids around is Jordan, my little boy here. He's unconscious and in the fetal position. So apparently this like 250 pound kid tried to jump over him and hit him and floored him to the ground. Um, <clears throat> the police officer would happen to be driving by. So I'm holding him unconscious. I get his helmet off. This other kid hands me this ice water. I'm screaming at the kids to not let the police officer go away. My wife's calling. I call Holly on the cell phone. I wait till he's conscious before I call. And Holly is just, we're all a mess. I mean, I am, I did hardly sleep last night. I'm sick as a dog. Um, he's okay. His CAT scans came back okay. Um, his helmet that they said very clearly saved his life yesterday. So if you don't wear a helmet, um, you're asking for problems. So um, he can't skateboard for a while. How do you feel right now, Jordan? Mm, bad. What, what's wrong? My head. You got a split and a headache? Yep. And do you remember anything? Um, not that much. He doesn't really remember much of what, much of what happened. So they had to, uh, took him to the trauma team and a... 15 minute ambulance ride. That's about a $15,000 day. But <clears throat> I'm at the grocery store later getting treats for Jordan. We want to give him whatever he wants because he can't even ride the skateboard or do anything for a month. And he is, how do you feel about that, Jordan? Bad. He feels pretty bad. So we're going to try to find fun things to do. When I was in the market, some lady got ahead of me in the market. And she said, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for taking so long. I said, hey, look, this is a great day. It's a fantastic day because I, even though I went to bed in terror and didn't sleep through the night, I still have Jordan here. And we still get to keep him around because he wore his helmet. So uh, um, he's eating his painkillers right now. You eating some medicine, buddy, for your head? Yeah. Okay. Say bye to everybody.